This is a little piece of uh, the cold press watercolor paper. Cut off just a little tiny square. It doesn't need to be even this big. What we can do with that is actually use it as a tool to sharpen our fine charcoal to sort of an oblique point. See how it's pointy and flat? Going back to those original exercises, now I can try it with this and I can get even more variation out of the line. So I'm twisting a little bit in order to get these wider strokes. This is a kneaded eraser. It's soft rubber. You can kind of twist and pull it. And what that does is sort of refreshes it. So you can keep using this over and over. I like to shape kneaded erasers into sort of a teardrop shape. This way you can have a sharp tip to uh, be able to erase with. If you want to, you can even make it into sort of a knife thin edge to be able to um, erase delicate lines. On the other end, uh, we have sort of a teardrop. I can draw a really fine erased line. I can also use this to the fat end of the raindrop to tap around and blot an area. If I wanted to just make it a little bit lighter, I can use really soft pressure. I can rub it and it'll sort of work like a regular eraser. Pinch to a sharp point. We get a nice very fine line. Here's our white plastic eraser, which again, mine is all dusty. If you have some darker marks, um, this kind of eraser feels a little bit more substantial and you can really rub into the paper. Eraser pencils. And again, this can give us a fine line and we can also sort of draw into our drawing with the eraser. Uh, I wanted to talk about the kinds of paper that we have. So we have um, our uh, newsprint paper and what's good about newsprint is we can do our practice on it. It holds charcoal pretty well, but one thing you'll notice is that if we just brush it, the charcoal lines kind of go away. There's also the fault with newsprint that it's not permanent. Um, after a year or so, uh, it tends to yellow. And so we say that it's uh, not an archival paper. It's a tool for us to use. Other kinds of paper have different amounts of tooth. We can have very smooth paper. And what happens when you go to draw on the paper is that um, the micro indentations of the paper collect the pigment. So very smooth paper, it might not lock in a whole lot of the pigment or dust that makes up the drawing materials. Um, a medium roughness, it's going to latch on to the pigment. And this is one of the differences between cold press water paper and uh, working on something like um, newsprint or the Bristol board. So this is what would be really helpful for you guys is to make a little sample of each of your kinds of paper. Do a little bit of testing. See how it takes graphite See how it takes charcoal. And then test it out with a few of our materials, especially the chamois, uh, kneaded eraser, and the white plastic eraser to see how they react with these. Here's our Bristol board. With charcoal, look at this beautiful um, smudge. It's really soft and um, nothing really offensive looking about it. 
and it erases pretty well. It's not too dark, so it's not really capturing maybe the full richness that we can get with charcoal. Here's our Stonehenge. It kind of has really uh, beautiful, soft, smoky smudges. It still erases pretty well, and the charcoal is much more dark and velvety. Graphite even feels a little bit closer to charcoal. And here's our cold press watercolor paper. And the smudging, it kind of gets grainy, and that might not be too desirable for smudging. Erasing is doing a good job over in the charcoal. One nice thing about the charcoal is this paper is really rough and we can keep pushing it until we get to sort of a really deep velvety black. So it's sort of, it's hard to get a nice deep velvety black like that, um, especially with vine charcoal, but because of the paper, we can.